Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing bar graph data interpretation. First of all, we need to read the information carefully and then we need to solve the questions according to the given information. If you look at the information, the information is about total number of boys and girls in five different departments. Here the information is about a total number of boys and girls in five different departments. Here first bar in each and every department is representing boy and the second bar is about uh, girls. Total we are having five departments. One is uh, philo uh, philosophy, second one biology, third one anthropology and the fourth one is uh, sociology and uh, last and final is uh, psychology. These are the five different uh, departments and uh, in each and every department number of boys and number of girls are given. That is the given information. Okay. Now, here the first question is, what is the difference between? Here we need to calculate the difference. We need to calculate the difference. Difference between total number of boys and the total number of girls from all departments together. Here we need to calculate the difference between total boys and total girls. Total boys and total girls from all the departments together. First calculate total boys. Total boys from all five departments together. That is equal to. Here the first value is uh, Total number of boys, first uh, we will take in a vertical format. This is total boys and this one is uh, total girls. First we will take total boys. All first values in the graph shows that boys, right? This is boy, this is girl, this is boys and this is, these are girls. Likewise, uh, boys, girls, boys, girls, boys and girls. Now write down all the boys values. First starting with the philosophy 80 and then 200 and then 100 and next 150 and next 120. Now you can add all the values. Here it is. If you observe carefully units place is 0 and then 8 plus 2 10 10 plus 5 15. And next uh, one is carry forward 2 plus 4, 6, uh, 650. Total number of boys, 650. Write down total number of girls. Girls first value, 140. And next uh, 300, 300. And next uh, 180. Third value, 180. Fourth value, 250. Next last value, 240. Last value 240. Now look at this value. Here the units place is 0 and next uh, 8 plus 4, 12, 12 plus 5, 17. 1 is the carry forward and next uh, uh, 2 plus 2 plus 1, 5, 6, 6 plus 4, 10, 1070. Zero, zero. Total number of girls are 1070. Zero, and total number of boys are 650. Now we need to calculate the difference between those two values. Therefore, the required difference is equal to 1070 minus 650, which is equal to 420. Here the difference between those two values, which is equal to 420. That is the exact difference between uh, those two values. Okay. Here among the options, we don't have the option. So you can go with the none of these. Option E is the right answer for this question. Option E. Next one. In the second question, the number of girls from biology department. Biology department, girls. Biology department, girls. That is uh, girls biology. Okay. That particular value approximately what percent of total number of girls from all the departments together. Here we need to calculate the uh, no percentage that to approximate percentage. Here our approximate percentage is equal to 
the value of girls from biology department is what percent of total number of girls into 100 percentage symbol that is common when you are calculating percentage now approximate percentage our required approximate percentage is equal to here as we are calculating the girls percentage from biology department take the girls in biology that is 300 this 300 what percent of total girls here total girls just when we calculated here 140 plus 300 plus 180 plus 250 plus 240 if we add all these five values just now we calculated total number of girls that is equal to 1070 here the units plus zero and next i think uh, here we did a mistake in the previous problem it is not uh, uh, 1070 4 plus 8 12 12 plus 5 17 17 plus 4 17 plus 4 21 here it is 1 and uh, 2 is the carry forward. Here it is 6, 6 plus 1, 7, 10, 11. This is 11, 10. This is 11, 10. It is not uh, 1, 0, uh, 11, 10. Okay. So, triple 1, 0 minus 650. So, this value becomes 460. It is not 420. 460 is the right answer. So, you can go with option D. Option D is the right answer for the first question. Now, the total number of girls are double one, double zero. Double one, sorry, triple one, zero, right? Total number of girls into 100 percentage. Now, we will calculate that particular value. Here, zero, zero gets cancelled. And next, uh, here this value is one, triple one, right? Instead of triple one, I will take it is uh, 110. I am just reducing the value by one. Why? Because I am calculating approximate value. So that I uh, will just take it, uh, uh, take it that value as round figure number. So that uh, the cancellation part is simple. Okay. Zero, zero cancel. Now this value becomes uh, 300 by 11. What is this 300 by 11? This is equal to our approximate percentage is uh, 300 by 11 what is this value here 300 by 11 11 2 sir 11 2 sir 22 80 80 means uh, 7 times and next uh, 30 again 2 times uh, 27 point uh, 2 something value 27 point something and uh, if you look at the options, in the options, we have only one option which is close to 27. Remaining all values are very far away from 27. So, obviously, our required approximate percentage is 27 percentage. 27 percentage, that is the approximate answer. Option E is the right answer for this question. Option E. Let us look at the third question. What is the respective ratio of number of girls from philosophy department to the number of girls from psychology department? Girls from philosophy. Philosophy. Here it is. Uh, philosophy. And uh, we need to calculate the ratio of girls from psychology. Girls from psychology. Right? Now. Look at the philosophy department. Where is philosophy department? This is philosophy department and the number of girls are 140. Second bar represents uh, girls. Second bar represents in each and every department as girls. And coming to girls psychology. Psychology is last one and the value is 240. Second bar, 240. Here 0, 0 gets cancelled. You can cancel with uh, two table. 2, 7, sir, 2, 12, sir. Therefore, the ratio of uh, number of girls uh, from philosophy to the number of girls from psychology, that ratio is uh, 7 is to 12. 7 is to 12, which is option B. Option B is the right answer for this question. 
Next one. Last but one. What is the average number of boys from all the departments together? Here we need to calculate the average. As we know that average is equal to sum of observations, sum of observations divided by number of observations, number of observations. So as we are calculating the average of boys, we need to take the values of all the boys together from each and every department. Here, if you observe carefully, all first values in the bars, uh, that represents the boys. I am just highlighting the values of uh, boys. Here it is, all these values are boys. Now, you can add all these values, 80 plus 200 plus 100 plus 150 plus 120 whole divided by number of uh, departments how many departments we have taken that is 5 denominator value 5 therefore the average of boys the average of boys is equal to here it is 200 plus 100 300 300 sum of these two 120 plus 80 200 200 200 100 that is 500 right 500 plus 150 is 650. 650 divided by 5, which is equal to, you can cancel with 5 table, 5 1 sir, 5 3 sir, 0. 130. 130 is the average of boys from all the departments together. That is option C. Option C is the right answer for this question. Last and final question in this session. See here. The number of boys from anthropology department is approximately what percent of total number of boys from all the departments together. Just now we calculated that total number of boys, total boys is equal to sum of all these values. Just now we calculated. Here this is 300, 380, 380, 500. 500 plus 150, 650. Total number of boys is equal to 650. Now, the question what he is asking is, he is asking us to calculate the approximate percentage. Approximate percentage of what? Boys from anthropology. 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 Boys. Boys from anthropology divided by total boys total boys and whenever we are calculating the percentage then into 100 percent decimal that is common thing right so our required approximate percentage which is equal to number of boys from anthropology anthropology is this department third one and the number of boys which is 100 100 divided by 650 into 100. 100 divided by 650 into 100. Here, 0, 0 gets cancelled. Now, you can cancel with uh, 5 table. 5 thirteens, 5 twos, which is equal to 200 by 13. 200 by 13. Therefore, our required answer will be, calculate this one. 13, 1 is 13 and next uh, 7 is there, 70, 13, 5 is 15 point something, 15 point something. So, no need of calculating uh, the next digit. Why? Because if you observe the options, uh, in the options, if you have 16, then you need to verify for first digit of the dec decimal point. But if you observe the options, we have only one option which is starting with 15 and we don't have the other option with 16. So, directly you can keep the answer as 15. Therefore, our required approximate percentage is 15 percentage. That is our approximate percentage. 15 percentage is the right answer for this question. Option A and uh, that's all about uh, this session and I hope you understand each and every problem in this session.
thank you thanks for watching